12 breaths here. Doing our best to relieve any tension that we may feel in the upper chest, upper back. Using a prop underneath our seat bones to relieve tension in the lower back. And all together, inhale, bringing our hands together at heart center, the Anjali Mudra. Thumbs are lightly tight of the chest. Shoulders relaxed, elbows relaxed. Sharing the pranava three times. Take a breath. And then switching our hand movement today, it doesn't matter which hand is on the top or the bottom, you just place your hands over your heart. Visualize the white lotus blooming here at the heart. As three times we share the guru mantra, honoring the gurus that have come before us. Take a breath in. Ring Shri Guru Bio Namaha Om Ring Shri Guru Bio Namaha Om Ring Shri Guru Bio Namaha Om Shanti 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 Sitting quietly, holding that visualization. Exhale, release. Come to the top of your mat, Tadasana. Remember in Tadasana, feet are hip width apart. Move a little bit on your feet back and forth, side to side to that center point. Nice alignment between ankles, knees, and hips. We gently lift the arches by bringing attention to the big toe and the outer heel. That causes a slight external rotation through the knee and the hip, opening up the lower limbs. Gently tuck in, which elongates the lower back. Shrug the shoulders up and back, letting the arms lie down next to our thighs. Chin is in neutral position. We have a soft gaze in front. Close your eyes. Feel this balance. Soft knees. In yoga, it's wonderful. It doesn't matter if our stomach sticks out or not. Just get a nice normal breath where your belly can expand and contract. We don't want to hold tension in the abdomen or the chest. So with that in mind, that we want to stay nice and relaxed through our movements, open the palms. Inhale, arms up. And exhale down. For those who do, of you who do Qigong or Tai Chi, this is very similar. Go ahead again. Inhale. That we're gathering energy and then down through the body. Let's do this two more times. Inhale up. <coughs> Sorry, exhale down. Last time, inhale up. And exhale down. This time, let's move the head. Inhale, lift the chin, look at the hands. As you exhale, you lower the chin. It comes first to neutral and then to the chest. Inhale, lift the chin up to neutral. Now start looking up. 
See the hands? Exhale, release to neutral and down. Same thing, but we're going to look to the right. Inhale, lift the head to neutral. Exhale, look right. Exhale, right to neutral, chin to chest. Left side. Inhale, neutral. Look left. Exhale, release. Headless, neutral, and now to chin. Right side one more time. Inhale, up. Look right. Exhale, release. Neutral. Chin to chest. Left side. Inhale. Look neutral. Now left. Exhale. Release. And back to the chin. Back bend in stages. Inhale, arms up. At the top, hands together. Exhale, release. Sink the shoulder blades down towards your spine. Soften the knees. Lift the arch. Feel really nice and and grounded through the pelvis. Inhale, try and grow tall. So anchoring through the pelvis, we're trying to lift through each vertebrae. As you exhale, release the shoulders behind you. Inhale, grow tall once more. Exhale, release the head behind you. Keep your hips exactly where they are. They do not jut forward in this type of back bend. Hold here. Keep lifting up towards the ceiling. You're shining the heart towards the sky, dropping the shoulders, anchoring to those big toes and heels. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold that anchor through your lower body. Inhale, come back to center. Stay here and really feel that your spine has now aligned from head down to the base of the spine, down both legs to your toes. It's at this point that you begin your forward fold. Bend the knees. As you bend the knees, try your best not to let the knees come closer to each other. Maintain that distance. Bending from the hips. Take a breath in. As you exhale, start to do your forward fold. Let's do our best to keep our head in between our shoulders. Take as many breaths as you need to come down. Just come down slowly. As you're coming, you feel that your hips are right over your heels. Reach the bottom. Knees are still bent. First forward fold of the day. Let's just be here for relaxation. We're not trying to lengthen the back of the legs right now. We're just trying to relax. Tap the chin. That will give you an even uh, deeper lengthening through the spine. Hands to elbows if you like. Shoulders hang by your ears. If you like, you can gently sway from one side to the other. So there's a twisting at the hips and waist, but go slow. If this doesn't feel comfortable, then just stay in stillness. Slowly coming up, release your hands to your shins or perhaps the top of your thighs by the knees. Tuck the chin. Inhale, you, we, as we roll up, I feel the bend from the lower back first and then the waist as I slowly roll up. As I come to the top, my shoulders come back. Hip are aligned over the heels. I lift my head, chin is back in neutral, hands are by my side. Let's reverse that, rolling down, take a breath in. Exhale, simply tuck the chin towards the chest. Exhale again, start to roll down from the upper back. Shoulders begin to round. Hands come down the thighs towards the front of the knees. Keep going. Feel the bend at the waist. As you exhale again, you feel the bend more at the crease of the hips. Hands are coming over the knees, front of the shins, perhaps to the ankles. If you can, 
perhaps the hands are just resting lightly on the floor. If they're not, keep them on your shins or ankles. Tuck the chin now. Let the shoulders fall towards the ears. Let's do our best to feel the alignment of hips over <clears throat> the heels. Even when your knees are bent, you can still imagine the hips are over the ankles. Hands to shins or knees. Inhale, roll up. Remember, it's like an unfolding. At the top, release the shoulders. Hands by your thighs. Head is in neutral. Back bend and forward bend. Open up the palms. Inhale, arms up. At the top, exhale. Let the shoulder blades sit. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, bend you. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, back bend. Hold here. A longer count this time. Come out if you don't feel comfortable. Eight. Seven. Remember, this is not passive. We are actively lengthening up towards the sky and behind us. We're not dumping our weight into our waist. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Coming out, inhale. Let's come back to center. Feel this alignment first. Bend the knees, swan dive down. As you exhale, extend the arms to the side, palms down, flat back, swan dive all the way down. As you reach the bottom, let the hands come to the mat or wherever they are, but roll the shoulders back now. Crown of the head towards the mat. Shoulders away from our ears. If you can, go ahead feels good, but don't lock them. Nice and soft. I never, never let go of that awareness of lifting the arch and slight exterior rotation of knees and hips because I want to keep those joints open and aligned. For four, three, two, one, with that in mind about lifting the arch and exterior rotation, coming into chair. Bend the knees here first. Lift the head length in the back. The arms in front of you, head is between the forearms. And now as you inhale, up, coming into chair. As you come into chair, sink the shoulder blades down towards the spine. To lengthen the back even more, slight pelvic tilt here. Soft gaze in front. Let's hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. So if you're feeling tension over the knees, that could mean that your alignment is a little skewed. So you really need to lift the arches of the feet so that you have even uh, muscular tension on the inside and the outside muscle running over your knee. Okay, the inside and outside of your thigh, back of your thigh. Two and one. Feel that alignment right here of the spine down to the pelvis, pelvis down to toes. And exhale, release. In this position, let's come into chair. Inhale the arms up right in front of you overhead. And exhale into your chair. From here, forward fold. If you can, nice straight back. Take a breath in. As you exhale, hinge at the hips. You bring the hands forward. It comes up. 
and you come into a forward fold. Hold here. Four, three, two, one. Coming into chair, bend the knees, lift the head, lengthen the back. Extend the arms in front. Inhale again, come into chair and hold. I don't mind if your knees are over your ankles, if you have that flexibility in your joints, as long as you can still see your toes. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Back bend. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink the shoulder blades. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, first bring the shoulders back and then find the full expression. Head is back. Anchor through the toes and pelvis. Nice back bend here. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back. Feel this alignment, bend the knees, exhale, forward fold, feel the hips over the heels, nice and slow. Holding short count, four, three, two, one, mind the distance between your knees. As we come into chair, bend the knees, lift the head, lengthen the back. Inhale, extend the arms in front. Inhale again, lift the torso. You're in a chair for four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, release. Coming into a small balance pose before we Shift into the warrior series. Left leg is your standing leg. Inhale, shift the weight left. Bring the right knee in front of the right hip. Find the integrity of your standing leg so that your hip doesn't pop out. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Stepping back into warrior one in stages. Inhale, go ahead, bring that right foot behind you. First the toe comes down, then the heel. Straighten both knees, square the hips forward. If you have a tendency to arch the back here or have the torso forward, let's bring it all under in alignment so that our spine is aligned right over our pelvis and between both legs. Open up the palms, palms of the arm. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink the shoulders. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, bend that front knee, warrior one. Look down. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. This is the time if you need to make adjustments, perhaps you can widen your stance. Bring the back foot behind you a little more if that's in your practice today. Awareness on lifting the arch, exterior rotation. Really engaging the inner thigh. That's going to protect both knees. Sink the shoulders even more as we extend from the heart to the fingertips. There's an important energy channel there from heart to fingertips that helps us with that lengthening. Hold here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, deep, two, one. Our gaze is forward, that doesn't change. The front knee doesn't change as we come into warrior two. So take a breath in. As you exhale, we open the back hip towards the long side of the mat. And the arms are now on the line. Sometimes for this, you do have to move the back foot a little bit. Go ahead, feel free to do so. And let's hold here. Eight. 
7. Six, five, four. Drop the chin. Sometimes it comes out of neutral position. Three, two, one. Reverse warrior, sometimes called peaceful warrior. Find your right hand. Let me bring it bring it down in front of your hip. Up the left palm. Now face forward, all right, because we want to be squared off toward the side of the mat. Inhale the left arm up and drop the shoulder. Equal weight on both legs. As you inhale, grow tall. And exhale, and bend back. Hold here, drop the shoulder. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come back to warrior two. Inhale. Windmill the arms back on the line, and we're looking forward once more. Extended side angles, just the opposite. Take the left arm, let it drop in front of your left thigh, open up the right palm, look forward, square off. Inhale the right arm up, exhale, sink the shoulder. Nothing changes in the legs or feet. Take a breath in, grow tall, and then exhale. Feel a lengthening from the anchor of your right foot through the right fingers. Do your best not to put weight on the left hand as best you can. If you need it, go ahead. But if you can take a few breaths without the weight there, that's wonderful. Hold here. Eight. Seven. Six. Four, three, two, one. Coming out. As you inhale, you windmill the arms back on the line. You look to the left. Coming into a front straddle, transition. Inhale the arms up. Let's swivel that right foot in. Look at your feet. Be pointing in slightly like a pigeon toe position or parallel with the short sides of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Take a breath in. Forward fold. As you come to the bottom, if you can, fingers in line with the toes, roll the shoulders back, tuck the chin. If you're not there yet, you can always have hands to elbow and just kind of hang out here. Do a little awareness check. Are your hips in line with your heels? If not, maybe you need to lean forward a little bit. Four, three, two, and one. Let's reverse swan dive together to come out. Lift the head, lengthen the back. As I lengthen the back, automatically my chest is coming up. So I'm on my fingertips now on the mat. Inhale, extend the arms out to the side. Inhale again. Rise up, palms face inward, up. Hands together at the top. And exhale, the hands down. Coming into warrior two on the opposite side. Left leg stays where it is. As you inhale, you lift the, what is this, right thigh. Right toes come open. Look at your hip points. Square them off towards the long side of the mat. Inhale the arms up on the line. Look at your right palm and exhale. Bend the right knee. Two. Hold here. Take a look down like I just made an adjustment to make sure my knee was over my ankle. We have a tendency for the torso to come 
forward. Let's bring it back so we're nicely aligned through the middle of our pelvis. Hold here. Pulse, even though we hold it in stillness. I'm engaging the inner thighs. Exterior rotation of hips and knees. Keeping contact with the big toe, the outer heel. Sinking the shoulders. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Peaceful warrior. Gently bring the left arm down. I open up the right palm. Inhale the right palm. Hand up. Square off towards the long side of your mat. Take a breath in, grow tall. Exhale, let's find this nice bend back and towards the left side. If you turn your gaze to look underneath your right armpit, that tends to help find the nicer alignment and lengthening of the spine. Keeps that left shoulder behind. Hold, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, windmill the arms back into warrior two. Hold here. Extended side angle. Right palm comes now in front of the body. Open up the left palm. Inhale, the left arm up, sink the shoulders, bear off towards the long side of your mat. Take a breath in, grow tall, and exhale, extended side angle. Really anchor, anchor through that left leg so that you maintain equal position of your weight on both legs. We have a tendency to dump all our weight into that front leg, and that becomes very fatiguing. So try and stay centered over your pelvis as you hold the pose. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Coming out, inhale, windmill the arms back on the line. Look forward, you're back into warrior two. Transition to warrior one. Inhale, both arms up. Now, as we come into warrior one, we're turning the hips, the shoulders, the torso towards that right knee. Take a look down, make sure that your knee is over your ankle. Now's a good time if you feel that your stance is too wide or too narrow, you can make the changes. Like I'm going to actually shorten my stance so that I can square my hips. Otherwise, my hips are a little torsillo. All right, let's hold here. Eight. Keep feeling an equal distribution between both legs so that it over the pelvis. Six, five, slow the breath, four, three, two, one. Inhale, as we step forward, let's float that left knee in front for a slight balance pose. Inhale, you come up onto your left toes, which is going to cause the weight distribution forward onto the right leg. When you feel that weight distribution, you feel that weight difference movement, you're going to feel some um, solidity through that right foot. That's when you know you can lift the left foot up and bring it in front of the hip. Hold here. Relax the shoulders. 
We never want to feel tension in the neck or shoulders. If you do, then bring your focus to the shoulder blades and let them see fine. Four, three, two, one. To come out, take a breath in. As you exhale, first bring the left toes down, then the left heel. Shift the weight over both feet equally, and then exhale, release the hands. Let's come into the middle of the mat, and let's walk through the triangle. That's a very technical pose. I want to make sure that we do it right. There's a tendency to lock the knee, and when you do that, you can um, hyperextend the knee and have an injury. So we start in Tadasana in the middle of our mat first. And even in this position, think about how do I soften the knees? Here my knees are locked. Here they're a little bit soft. Soft knees. Tadasana. Soft breath. Go ahead, open the legs now. Two and a half feet, three feet. Depending on your, your build and the flexibility of your hips, it will be a little different for each one of us. Take the foot is either parallel to the left short side of the mat or slightly turned in at a 45 degree angle. But we still want our hips squared forward. Right toe lifted up and open so that it's pointing towards the right short side of the mat. Square your hips. Take your headlights, square them forward. Inhale the arms up on the line. Drop the shoulders. Gaze is towards the right hand. Now, before I do anything, I make sure that my right knee is softened and I really have a strong awareness of exterior rotation in my hips. So I'm trying to bring my, my knees behind me and I'm opening the muscles back so that my knees aren't pointing forward, okay? That is what's gonna protect that right knee in front. Soft knee, exterior rotation. As I inhale, I simply shift my weight from the hip and waist forward. So my back is still straight. I simply shift it forward. Don't let go of that back leg awareness. You still want to have equal weight on both legs. Turn the palms forward. As you exhale, go ahead, bring the torso forward and down, and you come into a triangle position. So there's a bit of a spinal twist here. You wanna do your best to keep your shoulders in one line, in one plane. We wanna do our best to keep our hips, back, head in one plane. So pretend you're in two panes of glass and you need to stay inside there. That way you don't go forward or backwards with your torso. You can look at your toe if you feel your feels good. Otherwise look neutral or up. This is a triangle. A triangle can look like this too. This is perfectly fine. To safely come out, bend that right knee. Now, as you inhale, you windmill your arms on the line, shift your weight over the pelvis and you're back in a warrior two. That's so that you don't hyperextend your knee. Let's do the left side. Inhale, arms up, swivel on your feet, come into position, square the hips. Exhale, release the hands down. Before I ever, ever start a triangle, I make sure I have awareness of soft knees, exterior rotation to protect that knee. Take a breath in as you look to the left and shift the weight. Sometimes I even stay here for a few breaths to really feel where I am. Turn the palms forward, and then as you exhale again, Go ahead, come into your triangle. And take your time. You may be able to come deeper after the fifth breath, but the first and second breath, you just want to ease into it. Keep lengthening the spine over that. Your gaze can be up, down, or neutral.
Let's stay here for four, three, two, and one. Safely coming out. Bend that left. And then inhale, windmill the arms on the line. Bring that torso back over your hips. You end up in warrior two. Transition to a nice front straddle. Inhale, arms up. Swivel that left foot in. Swan dive, exhale, swan dive down. And just hang out here. But shrug those shoulders behind you so we always have a, a nice awareness that there's distance between our shoulders and our ears. Keeping your hips squared off. It's a little uh, forward fold to the side. So from here, I simply walk my hands towards my left foot. Keep the hips squared, head to knee, if you can. Uh, to my ankle, or you can put your hands on the floor. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, slide the hands back to the middle and then over to the other side. So we're lengthening our back leg, but to the best of my ability, my hips are still squared forward. Hold four, three, Two, one, take a breath in. As you exhale, slide the hands back to center. Perhaps we can bring our elbows down to the mat. Make sure your weight is still over your heels. And let's hold here for four, three, Two, and lift the head, lengthen the back. For those of you who can come into a deep squat, put your hands on the mat in front of you just to support you. As you toe heel, toe heel, your feet a little closer together until you are in the position to exhale and come down into your deep squat. Hands in front of you, extended. Tuck the head. head. Roll the shoulders. Let's stay here. Eight. Seven. If this is not yet in your practice, um, after class, I'll, I'll show you how you can modify this with a blanket underneath your heels. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, very slowly and in control, coming into boat pose. So as you exhale, you bring your butt down, release the feet up, and we're in boat pose. Hands are still pointing forward. Shine the heart. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently exhale back into Dandasana, staff pose, arms extended up high. Hold here, release the shoulders, release any tension in the thighs. Hold here, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. To come out, take a breath in. Exhale, release your hands down to the side. Lay down on your spine. Let's come into a spinal twist before we continue on. Arms are extended out to the side, palms up. Activate the legs. That means we bring a little more attention, slight flexion in the ankles, toes, knees, and hips are all pointing up. 
using a pelvic tilt so that we engage the core. Let's float our knees over the hips all together. Take a breath in. Exhale. First, contract the abs, feel the tilt, and then you float the knees over the hips. From here, take a breath in. Exhale, knees float to the right, you look left. Stay fidget, and let's hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Again, using the pelvic tilt, we'll float to the other side. Take a breath in. Exhale, first contract the abs, feel the tilt, and then you float the knees up and to the other side. If you come into position, let's do our best to hold it nice and quietly. Our body is, our breath is slow. We're still staying focused in our mind, trying not to daydream for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. The center all together. Take a breath in. Exhale. Tilt. Float the knees to center. Inhale. Hands to knees. Exhale. Knees to chest. The goal here is to try to have all of the spine from the bottom of the spine to the bottom of our neck touching the mat so that we can elongate and relax the muscles along the spine. Head is in neutral position. Let's do our best to relax the hip flexors in the front of the body and the glutes in the lower back and the back of the body. So we really feel an opening through the hips. Take the weight of your legs into your biceps. Do our best to release the shoulders down to the mat. Short count, four, three, two, one. Coming into bridge pose, release the hands down to the mat, palms down. Release the feet to the mat behind your butt so your knees are bent. Ideally, knees and feet are hip width apart. Remember, this is a pose about shining the heart. It really is not about lifting the hip bones towards the sky or tightening your glutes. It's about figuring out how do I loosen up through my middle and upper back to shine the heart as I'm in my bridge pose. Let's begin. Take a breath in. As you exhale, first contract the abs, feel that tilt in your hips, and then continue to lift the hips up. Once the hips are in the air, you can roll your shoulders underneath you. Some of you can clasp your hands together. As you exhale and inhale, think about lifting the sternum towards or in the direction of the head, which will cause the chin to come towards the chest. Once you're in this position, don't move the head from side to side. Keep shining the heart. So the movement is through the rib cage. You're just being supported right now by the bottom uh, limbs. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
One, come in slowly, take a breath. As you exhale, first release the shoulders. As that, you start to feel the upper back, the lower back, lower down. In the very end, the lower back has come down and you release that slight pelvic tilt. Extend the arms out to the side. Variation of the spinal twist. Keep your right knee exactly where it is. But let's lift the left leg and cross the left knee over the right knee. So we're just crossing our legs. Now some of you can come into Garuda Asana on the bottom here, eagle pose. So if you can take that left foot and bring it underneath your right calf so that your left foot is sort of touching your right ankle, that's cool. If you can't, just keep crossing legs. From here, we do a spinal twist to the right. So take a breath in. As you exhale, your knees are going to the right, you're looking to the left. Let's hold here for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. To come out, take a breath in. Exhale, contract. Feel a little bit of the tilt to protect the lower back, and you come back to center. Let's switch. Left foot is now on the ground. Cross the right knee over. If you can, come into Garuda Asana position. Take a breath in, and exhale. Knees left, you look right. Now, if you start feeling discomfort in your knees in Garuda Asana, then please lessen the pose because that means that your hips are not yet open enough and you're taking the, the twist in the knee joint. And the knee joint doesn't twist. It's not that kind of a joint. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming out all together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, come back to center. Release the right leg. Exhale, release both legs down the mat. Now you can stay here in Savasana if you'd like. Or I really love to uh, end my practice in a supported shoulder stand. So take your block or your cushion, bring it underneath your butt so that it's somewhere in between your lower back and your seat bones. It's going to be different for each person. Keep your hands back as you raise your legs up to the sky. If you feel discomfort in the lower back, that means you need to adjust. So then lower your feet again, figure out where it needs to be up, and then bring your feet up into the air. Once you're in position, do not move your head from side to side. You should feel total relaxation in the lower and middle back. You'll feel a little bit of weight on the upper back across the shoulders. If you're comfortable in this position, release your hands either overhead, palms up, or extend to the side, palms up. And remember, you always have the option to simply and beautifully be in a savasana right now. Let's stay here for three minutes. This is a good time to have that little mini meditation time where you really focus on every inhale and every exhale for three minutes without daydreaming.
If you're in Savasana, go ahead and gently bring movement back to your body in a seated, seated position. If you are in the supported uh, shoulder stand, let's come out safely. Bring your hands to your prop, bend your knees, plant the feet behind you. Using your forearms to help you, exhale, go ahead and sit up. In a nice, comfortable seated position. To further enhance that beautiful soft that we've cultivated for the last hour and also to reinforce the calmness of our mind. Alternate nostril breath, two minutes. Sitting up nice and tall, relax the shoulders. Left hand is in chin mudra. Right hand, uh, pointer finger and middle finger are touching the pad of the thumb. Turn the palm towards you, release the elbow down. The thumb and the finger, the ring finger close the nostrils. Remember an alternate nostril breath. You begin on the left side with an exhale. You end on the left side with an exhale. So go ahead, time us for two minutes. There's no rush, but finish your cycle on the exhale on the left side, and then gently bring your right hand down, eyes are closed, you breathe with awareness through both nostrils. As you inhale and exhale, silently you chant inside your head, I am present. I am present. Very gently, keeping the same rhythm of your breath, open your eyes.
gently release the mantra of I am present. And to close our class, inhale, bringing hands to heart center. Sharing the pranava one time in. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Exhale, bowing down to the teacher within. And they come up. Eyes are open and we're in full awareness. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.